Welcome to Quick Fix, the show where I answer your most commonly asked tech questions in 90 seconds or less. Today, we're getting our game on. Start the clock. One of the best features added in iOS and tvOS 13 was the ability to pair PlayStation and Xbox controllers. That means an iPad or an Apple TV can now act as a gaming device too, which is pretty cool. So let me show you how. I'm going to use an iPad here, but the process is the same for every Apple device. On the PlayStation controller, hold down the Share and PS buttons until the light starts to blink. Navigate to the Bluetooth settings on your Apple device, and you'll see the controller show up in the list. Tap on it to connect, and you're all set. The process for an Xbox controller is very similar. Turn on the controller and hold down the pairing button until the logo starts to blink. Tap on it when it shows up on the list in your Bluetooth settings and you're connected. Now keep in mind, not every game will support playing with a controller. The App Store pages don't always make it clear if controllers are supported either, so I always recommend checking the game's website to be absolutely sure. So there you go. I've now made it even easier for you all to keep crushing me in Fortnite. I'm just so bad at building. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you have a tech question you want me to try and tackle in 90 seconds or less, leave a comment below or email me. And as always, subscribe to Lifehacker on YouTube.